For testing the safety of chemicals, laboratory animals are still widely used. However, the European Union is strongly committed to animal welfare policy and the promotion of alternative methods in order to eliminate or minimize the use of animals for scientific purposes. The European Union Reference Laboratory for Alternatives to Animal Testing was established in 2010 due to the increasing need for new methods to be developed and proposed for validation in the European Union. This includes experiments on cells and tissues, also called in vitro methods, and computer-based models. In vitro toxicity data can only be used to satisfy legal requirements for safety assessment if they are of the highest quality in terms of their reliability and traceability. Eurolegvam has established a large network of highly qualified laboratories, EU Netval, increasing the EU's capacity to carry out in vitro method validation projects. Toxicology is traditionally based on animal experiments and computational methods have the advantage of being faster, uh, cleaner, um, and providing um, information on the mechanistic basis of toxicological effects. A mathematical model that we are developing describes the body as a set of interconnected compartments representing the human organs and the blood. Although many new in vitro methods are becoming available, the validation poses a significant challenge. Typically, it can take many months or even years to generate the data needed to fully evaluate their performance. To tackle this problem, EULEGVAM is using a fully automated robotic in vitro testing platform that can deliver the results that we need in a fraction of the usual time. The advantages of high throughput screening or HTS are reproducibility, a high level of precision and of course the possibility to generate a lot of data in a short time. Hundreds of chemicals can be tested in one experiment. EUL ECWAM's work leads to tangible results. Many internationally accepted test guidelines are based on methods validated by EUL ECWAM. In December 2012, a team of EUL ECWAM scientists was awarded the LASH Science Prize for an innovative way of using data from in vitro experiments. In 2013, for example, we released our EUL ECWAM strategy on how to achieve animal-free assessment of chemicals for skin sensitization. The EOL ECWAM disseminates information on many aspects of alternative methods through publicly accessible databases and services. EOL ECWAM has a solid reputation in supporting EU policies in the area of alternatives to animal testing and we're proud of our achievements so far. So why not keep in touch with our activities by checking out our website or by following us on Twitter.